Hi, I don't know if you have seen those stun guns they sell online. I saw channels like Jerry Rig Everything or Unbox Therapy reviewing this yellow jacket stun gun, which is a cell phone case that can output 7 million volts. <laughs> the future of self-defense. We can apply this to the groin area. Very good channels, by the way, if you like reviews and unboxing. It's also a power bank and it has 7 million volts of stun gun protection. Jerry, come on, Jerry. Jerry, 7 million volts, Jerry? There must be a typo somewhere, Jerry. Amazon says 7 million. Maybe that's the typo. Apparently this thing can put out 7 million volts. It says it right on the box. Let's download its user manual. There it is. Yellow jacket case is a 7 million voltage stun gun. A 7 million voltage stun gun? Really? 7 million voltage? Voltage is the electromotive force or the potential energy required to move the electrical charge. The unit is volt. 7 million volt stun gun. I reject your claim based on such a simple grammatical error. No, but really, this phone case is not the only one claiming such a high voltage. Just look at these high voltage arc generators. 400,000 volts, 1 million volts, 400,000 volts, 400 kilovolts, 500 kilovolts. False claims, false claims everywhere. Won't stop me from buying one of these babies though. I don't really need them though. If you remember, I made my own taser back in my old video. The arcs can jump one You don't bring your finger close to a stun gun when it's running. Everyone can build something like this or even stronger, but it might not be legal everywhere. Let's check. Is it legal to marry yourself? To grow pot in BC? To bait deer in BC? To smoke weed in BC? To marry your cousin in Canada? No European country prohibits marriage between first cousins. It is also legal throughout Canada and Mexico to marry your cousin. The US is the only Western country with cousin marriage restrictions. Fun fact. Is it legal to have stun gun in Canada? In the United States, tasers are not considered firearms. Uh, nobody cares, they can buy shotguns. In Canada, however, tasers are a prohibited weapon. <laughs> well, clearly it's not a taser. It's not even portable. Only for educational purposes. Now, why do I say those voltage claims are garbage? Simple, air can break down under 15,000 to 30,000 volts across a one centimeter gap. And that depends on humidity and pressure and many other factors. I've borrowed an ESD gun and I've set it to 25 kilovolts and I'll bring a ground wire close so that the arcs start jumping. And then I can measure the air gap using my <laughs> Right after I shut down the gun. Okay, let's try it. Somewhere around there, and it's almost 15 millimeters, and that's around 16 to 17 kilovolts per centimeter. So, for example, for the phone case that had its prongs around one centimeter, the arcs would jump for around 16 kilovolts, and that's what the voltage would be limited to not 7 million volts. Why is the voltage limited, you ask? Let me show you how an arc is made. We have two points with a voltage difference and every one of them makes the air around it ionized. As the voltage between them rises, they make more and more air ionized around them. And although air is a very good non-conductive isolator, the ionized air is a very good conductor. If the voltage between them rises enough, the ionized areas around them get so big that they touch each other and short circuit the two points. And so a huge current runs through the gap. And the current looks something like this. This spike here can be tens of amps, but it happens in less than a nanosecond. This whole event can be tens of nanoseconds. And the voltage immediately drops to zero and that's one pulse of electricity. So the voltage can go only so far before the ionized air shorts it and that depends on the distance between the prongs. So in order to get 7 million volts, you need a distance of roughly more than 3.5 meters. 
<laughs> I mean, having a cell phone cover that's also a stun gun is cool and all, but are you really comfortable having a stun gun on your head while talking to somebody? <laughs> I can imagine many people fidgeting with all the buttons while they are talking to the person they have a crush on. Oh, tonight? No, I'm completely free to f I don't know why manufacturers claim such bogus numbers. Here's a few of them. World's the smallest at 6 million volts. See, even the prongs are not that far. And here's a pink zebra taser with 18 million volts. What the f is this? 980 million volts? Even most lightnings don't have that much voltage. I'm starting to think there is no regulation around bullshit out there. It's funny, long ago I thought if somebody was attacked by a stun gun, they would be paralyzed after the shock for a long while thanks to Hollywood. I'm calm! <laughs> Oh, honey, help me up here, please. But after being zapped so many times over years, I realized that you just feel such huge pain that will paralyze you while being shocked. But as soon as the electrical shock stops, if it hasn't left a permanent damage, you will be instantly fine. It may mess with your muscle control while being shocked, but if you are mentally strong against pain, even the pain won't be able to completely paralyze you. This policeman puts it very well. The concept's kind of neat, but it's pain compliance. And pain compliance, if you're motivated enough, pain compliance, you can fight through the pain. So this might shock you. <laughs> but Hollywood science is mostly bogus too. It's not the voltage that kills you. There's not a whole lot of amperage flowing through with those volts. Jerry? Who is this Jerry Rig guy? <laughs> Zach Nelson. Zach Nelson. I wonder if I didn't read everything. Oh, okay. So he has a bachelor in management. He doesn't have electronic background. And he's such a nice guy. I can't stay mad at him. But I can stay mad at this guy. And it's really the current that gets you and not really the voltage. Obviously, he's a scientist talking about electronics. What he claims is that his Van de Graaff tower is at 200,000 volts, which is fine, and then he isolates himself on a stool and touches the tower, which is okay, and his hair sticks up. But even at that point, the tower is not at 200,000 volts anymore, I bet it is dropped to 50 kilovolts or less, because his body provides a much greater surface area that electric charges run away from. And then he eventually touches the ground as well, at which point his body shorts and dissipates the charges to ground. You can see it by his hair dropping back to zero. And I'm ready to change my name if the tower voltage is not less than 50 volts, if not zero. Nowhere does he mention of such voltage drop and leaves audience thinking he's touching across 200,000 volts. And instead he says, It's really the current that gets you and not really the voltage. He seems like a very nice guy though, I bet it was a one-time mistake, so no hard feelings. You know, saying that it's not the voltage that hurts but the current is like saying I'm gonna shoot you in the head with a shotgun, but as long as the bullets hit you very softly, you won't feel a thing. Wanna try? How many times do I have to say this? If there is high voltage across your body, there is no way to limit the current and you'll die. Here, let's say this 12 ohm resistor is a human and I'll put 10 volt across it with no current limit. Let's see what happens. See, the human burns. But if I current limit the supply to 0.1 amps and put the same 10 volt across a fresh 12 ohm and it doesn't burn, but is the voltage the same? No, it has dropped very low. If your supply is current limited, the voltage must drop. If the voltage doesn't drop, the current remains high. And that's why the signs say danger high voltage, not high current. Here I'm running 10 amps through the wire and I'm touching it and I feel nothing because the voltage across my body is zero. So let's correct that sentence. It is not necessarily a supply voltage at no load, but the amount of current it can provide when touched that indicates how much hurting you shall receive. 
because a touched supply voltage may drop if its current is somehow limited. Well, it's much longer than it's not the voltage, it's the current, but way more accurate. Oh, tonight? No, I'm completely free to f <laughs>